Ordinary light is the everyday light we encounter from the sun, candles, bulbs, and many other sources. This light spreads out in all directions and is made up of many different colors, even if our eyes sometimes can't see them separately. Also, the waves of ordinary light are not organized, they move in different directions and at different times, making the light unfocused and scattered. That's why when you turn on a flashlight, the beam spreads out and lights up a wide area. Laser light, on the other hand, is very different and much more special. A laser produces light that is extremely focused, meaning it travels in a very straight, narrow beam without spreading out much. Laser light is also made up of just one pure color, and most importantly all the light waves move together, in perfect rhythm, like a very well-organized marching band. This is called coherent light. Because the waves are in sync, laser beams are very powerful and can stay narrow over long distances, unlike regular light. Now, how does a laser actually work? Inside a laser device, there is a special material, it could be a gas, a crystal, or a semiconductor that gets energized using electricity or another light source. This energy excites the atoms inside the material, making them produce light. But instead of the light just escaping randomly like in a normal bulb, mirrors inside the laser device bounce the light back and forth many times. As the light bounces, it gets stronger and more organized. When the light becomes powerful and perfectly lined up, it finally escapes through a small opening as a tight, strong beam. Because of this special behavior, lasers are used in many areas of life. They help doctors in eye surgeries, allow us to cut through metals, read barcodes at stores, and even send internet signals through the air. Lasers have become an important part of modern technology, all because they produce light that is much more organized and powerful than ordinary light. I hope this explanation helps you understand more about laser light and how it works. For related videos click the i button, or follow the link in the description. Thank you for watching.